In the back streets of suburban Adelaide, a ceremony is held each year on December the 28th in a small park, marking the anniversary of South Australia's colonisation by white settlers. Most South Australians refer to the site as the Old Gum Tree, which is precisely what visitors see, a bent, dead tree which is now preserved under a large canopy and filled with concrete to give it the strength to remain in place. The small park in which the tree is preserved is in McFarlane Street at Glealg North, about a 15-minute walk from the coast where the first ships anchored. In 1836, white settlers had set up camp in the sand dunes near a creek now known as the Pata Wallaga. In the afternoon, when the temperature was about 40 degrees Celsius, they held a gathering at which a document known as the Proclamation of South Australia was read by an official George Stevenson who was the secretary to the first governor John Hindmarsh. Near where they had gathered and sheltered from the blazing sun was an arched gum tree. It would be frowned upon for anyone to scale the tree because of its age and fragile state, but it would seem from historical photographs that this was not always the case. Although many people visit Adelaide without becoming aware of the park or the tree, it would seem those who do swing by review it favorably online. Local man Don Puck said the park could be enjoyed by families. In the early years of colonization, John Hector owned the land on which the tree stood. In 1857, just after Gleilg had become a municipality he donated the land to the local community, the city of Holdfast Bay Council said. December the 28th used to be a public holiday in South Australia but more recently the public holiday was moved to December the 26th so it coincided with the day which other states mark as Boxing Day.